Yeah, it's the uh, age-old question, tree falls in a forest. If there are no sports, does a sports talk show exist? The answer is yes, believe it or not. So what have you guys been talking about? Well, when everything broke, uh, it was about the same time as the Tom Brady news. So that kind of kept us going. And that, Rob, was my worst day. It was St. Patrick's Day. Tom Brady left, <laughs> and all the bars were closed. I was in the fetal position for like half an hour. It was horrible. On the other hand, if it were not for that Brady story, you guys would be like farmers with a drought that just went on and on and on. Well, I think you guys are finding the same thing. The nice thing about booking guests these days, everyone's at home. Everyone's like, yeah, sure. Like, this morning we talked to Mario Andretti. He was just happening. Yeah, sure, I'll take your call. Why not? Let's do it. It, it does. That is maybe the silver lining, at least for you guys, is I assume, uh, not I assume, I know you're getting access to some guests that you normally might not get, right? Absolutely, yeah. And, and everyone's willing to do it. Like I said, most people, they've, they've got literally nothing to do. So sure, I'll talk to you. Why not? So let's just, for people who aren't sports fans, let's just sort of run down yeah. the list of things that you are getting by without right now. First of all, Red Sox and Sea Dogs. And that would be how much of your daily conversation on the show would you guess right about now? This time of the year, probably about 50% of it. We, you'd also have, you know, Celtics playoffs, Bruins playoffs, things like that. But, yeah, Red Sox would be huge right now. Yeah, and you'd even have, you know, you'd have University of Maine baseball. You'd have these other things which aren't, aren't as big as the, the major league sports, but the other things that, you know, help fill the time and that people are interested in that, and that you guys want to talk about as well, right? Absolutely, yeah. And, and now the, a lot of the conversation is, when does it come back? How does it come back? Are there fans? Are there no fans? What's going to happen? So that's really starting to ramp up now. And, and you're starting to feel like there's maybe a timetable, looking at maybe May, June, something like that, where these sports might be able to come back. And the uncertainty makes it difficult, frankly, to have a, a thoughtful conversation about it. Because, you know, with, with other kinds of sports, you can see, you can say, all right, I know that the Red Sox are going to start playing baseball in late March, early April. And, you know, that's a given. Right. That's different. We can talk about that. But the way it is now, it's just sort of, well, I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows what's going to happen. That's you. You just summed up my conversation pretty much five days a week. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. We're all playing a guessing game. It's uncharted waters. Who knows? What do you do to try to prepare? Because I know that when you guys walk in to the studio in the morning, you and, and your co-host Joe, uh, you know, what you've always done is you've got a, a, some idea of what you're going to be talking about. You want to, you want to have that nice mix of the, of, uh, the improvisational and the, and the things that you've thought about a bit. So how do you prepare the show right now? A lot of it's still reactionary. Like yesterday, Belichick had a press conference, so we played some of that and talked about that. And so there, there's still some stuff you can focus on and talk about. Not a ton, but like I said, a lot of the conversation, and especially from the fans, are wondering when. When do we get this back? Because sports is such a, a healing part of this country. We saw it through 9-11. We've seen it through you know, the Kennedy assassination. Sports plays such an enormous role for people to get back to real life, and I think that's what everyone's hoping for. Well, the other side of the conversation is, of course, the input that you get from your callers and the listeners who are texting you and communicating with you. What kind of reaction have you gotten from them? in the last month have you heard these people Rome? some of these people are crazy you understand this the phone calls i have to take i think everyone's going stir crazy some of the callers are getting worse but no in all seriousness the callers have been great and i think the what we keep hearing is when we tune you in it's almost like normal life like the this stuff isn't going on and i think a lot of people want that they want to feel like there's normalcy in their lives and we're trying to give it to them all right last question what are you going to do to celebrate when things get back to normal? Probably pop a couple of Miller lights and uh, cry in my Tom Brady jersey. That's about it. <laughs> By the way, I want to say hello to Lee Goldberg, my favorite former sportscaster. It's very disappointing he's gone into news, but we miss Lee. We love Lee.